Have you tried the practice problems from our video on star args and double star KW args? If so, awesome, because in this video, we'll walk through the solutions together, step by step. All right, let's jump right into problem one, the average score calculator. Here we need to create a function called average score that calculates the average of an arbitrary number of scores. In the example, we call the function with different sets of numbers, like three scores, two scores, or none at all. And we want our function to handle all of them correctly. Now, since we don't know in advance how many scores will be passed, this is the perfect use case for star args. So, we'll create a function called average score with star score as a parameter. Remember, writing star scores tells Python to collect all positional arguments into a tuple called scores. Then, in the body of the function, we will calculate the average value in the scores tuple. To do this, we will use the built-in sum function to add all of the items in the scores tuple. Then, to divide by the number of items in the scores tuple, we'll use the built-in function len. However, if no scores are passed to average score, we'll be dividing by zero, which would cause an error. To protect against this, we'll add a conditional that checks if the scores tuple is empty and return zero if it is. Finally, we can return the average score. Once we run the code, we see that it computes the correct averages and calling the function with no arguments returns zero as expected. In this example, using star scores allows our function to be flexible enough to handle any number of positional arguments. Great, let's move on to the second problem. This time, we need a function called describe pet that always takes a pet's name and type, but can also accept any number of additional labeled details like color, age, or favorite food. Since these details are passed in using labels or keywords, we'll use double star KW args. We'll start by defining the describe pet function with name and animal type as required parameters. Then, to accept any number of keyword arguments, we'll add double star details as a parameter. Remember, the double asterisk tells Python to collect all keyword arguments into a dictionary called details. Inside the function, we'll first print the pet's name and type. Then, if any extra details are provided, we'll loop through the key value pairs in the dictionary using details.items. Inside the loop, we print each key value pair in a clean format. Running the code, we get the expected output. The function prints each piece of information clearly. And if we remove one of the keyword arguments, it still works perfectly. Finally, let's look at the third problem. Here, we need to write a function called make sandwich that accepts any number of ingredients as positional arguments and any number of optional labeled preferences as keyword arguments. To handle both types of arguments at once, we'll combine star args and double star kw args. First, we'll define our make sandwich function to take any number of ingredients with star ingredients and any number of labeled options as double star options. Remember, when a function takes both types of extra arguments, we define the tuple to collect positional arguments before the dictionary that collects keyword arguments. Inside the function, we'll first write the making a sandwich print statement. On the next line, we'll output each of the items in the ingredients tuple using a for loop and a print statement. After we print the ingredients, we'll print out the options. To do this, we'll use a for loop to loop through the key value pairs in the options dictionary using the items method. Inside the loop, we'll print each key value pair. Running the function prints everything neatly, the ingredients first, followed by the options. The ingredients are captured by star ingredients and the label options are captured by double star options. Together, they let us write functions that can handle all combinations of inputs without changing the function structure. And that's it. Those are the solutions to our three exercises. If you followed along, great work. Practicing these ideas is how they really start to stick. 
If you have any questions or topics that you'd like to learn about, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.